Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and the gaming news. This is my series where I like to talk about everything in the world of gaming, bring you the news, have a chat about it, ask your opinion, and we end up having a chat in the comments section below. If you like that style of video, feel free to subscribe, leave me a cheeky thumbs up, let's get on with today's video. Some PlayStation VR news, and not good news either. Starblood Arena have released details uh, via their official page that Sony is pulling support on all online play in this game in six months' time. I've played Starblood Arena quite a few times on the channel. It's a great little game, a real showcase for the PlayStation VR, but it means this July you won't be able to play this game at all. Starblood Arena was released in April 2017 to what was a fairly new VR headset, the PlayStation VR, always suffered with low player numbers and since its release has always been featured in the PlayStation sales. Right up until recently, as it was part of PlayStation Plus, it was given away free of charge, but that seems it wasn't enough to save the player base. Ending online support isn't a new thing and only recently Sony went through and cleared a load of PlayStation 3 servers but this is current gen VR. This was a flagship title. Starblood Arena had two main problems. The first being that it was one of the first titles to induce VR sickness and I think a lot of players once they experienced that they didn't go back to this particular title. Secondly it's pretty much all online hence you're not going to be able to play it after July so this was fully reliant on online players filling the lobbies but so early in the PlayStation VR life cycle that was a big ask. But the story for me is much bigger than Starblood Arena. Does this mean that indie developers, which let's face it are the lifeblood of PlayStation VR at the moment, is this going to change the way they develop games for our headset? Does this mean that we're going to go back to the traditional single player? Is it going to halt the progression of online mode within the PlayStation VR headset? Is it going to change the way we purchase as gamers, as consumers, as well as evaluating all the features within the game to see whether it suits us? We now have to consider how long the game is actually going to work for. So what do I think of this news? Well to be honest with you I think it's a really poor showing on Sony's part to end support for Starblood Arena, a title that I paid full price for upon release and now I'm being told by Sony I cannot play the game at all. Does this mean that our favourite 2D and VR titles that aren't popular have just been given an expiry date? As always the most important part of this news video is what you think. Do you think I'm being too harsh on Sony for ending online support for Starblood Arena? Did you even play the game when it was given free? as part of PlayStation Plus. Now we've got this news that Sony are looking to shut down unpopular servers. What game springs to mind that may be possibly given an expiry date? Thank you for watching everyone. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, get involved in the discussion in the comments section below. Top right will be a playlist popping up of all my other news videos. Uh, feel free to check them out. That is it everyone. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.